Oh, breaker one nine, breaker one nine. This here's the gear jamming, dear. White tail has got your front door. Come on. Now I know I haven't done a how-to video in quite a while. That's mostly because I don't really mod. Like I don't develop mods for ATS and ETS two the way I used to. Um, and not that I ever really did, but I just I don't play these games as much anymore. Um, but a good opportunity arose, so I go ahead and I decided to go ahead and take it. This video, as you will have seen in the title, is how to put your own personal trucks in the driving academy for use. Um, if you watch my channel regularly, you'll probably have seen that my playthrough of the ATS Academy, um, I was in one of my personal trucks, being an International 9900, which isn't available to use in the Academy at all, usually. Um, I am in ETS2 for this video, because I'm going to be putting... I'm going to be demonstrating... Excuse me. I'm going to be demonstrating on a truck that I want to make available for my own personal use anyway. Um, but... It, the process is exactly the same in both games. Um, so I'm going to show off both how to just add a base game truck that's customized the way you like it, and also how to add a modded truck. Okay, so for demonstration's sake, I am going to do... I'm going to use this Mercedes-Benz Actros. Um, if you've already looked at the Driving Academy, you'll know that you're only able to use the absolute newest versions. You know, you know like the current production models. Um, so the old Actros, which is what I have sitting here, is not one of those. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is create a save file. So just any save file, it doesn't matter what it's called. And then Alt-Tab out. I don't Alt-Tab anymore because you can see the game is still in the background. I don't know if that's just something particular to my system or if that's just how the game is now. But because of that, I always go ahead and just shut down the game completely because I don't like having it in the background. Alright, so what we're going to do is you're going to go to Documents, Euro Truck Simulator 2, or American Truck Simulator if you're doing this in ATS. Um, go to Mod, and you can see this is my file for where I'm putting custom trucks in the Academy. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Um, you could also do this by just creating a new zip archive, but I'm gonna, I, pretty much whenever I'm making my own mod, I just copy something else and then clear it out. So let's just get rid of everything in here. I'm gonna keep def because that's what we need for this. Probably should have cleared autumn out first, it was rather large. All right, so we're going to want def. Academy. Truck. And then this is the one part where I do have to say I'm not entirely sure here. Um, from what I can tell, it doesn't seem like we can actually add more trucks to be used in the Academy. It seems like there's some sort of... Uh, 
list like listings file that tells the game what SII files to look for, but I can't find that file. So the easiest way to do this is just to replace an existing truck. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the Mercedes Actros 2014. And I'll tell you at the end of the video how to find all of these files as well. Um, so let me just open this. So this is the file that tells the game what to load in for a truck. So having that open, we now want to go to our save game. Which is going... Which is going to be this. I don't know why that wasn't sorted by most recent. Um, and you're going to need this SI decrypt program. I will try to see if I can find it on the, online and link it in the description. But I've had this for years, and I don't know if it's still available online anywhere. So we're going to open our save. We're going to go to my underscore. This will take you down to your truck listings. Um, it's best, I should have mentioned this earlier, it's best to be sitting in the truck that you want to be adding, because then you can just use this My Truck listing. But otherwise, if you're not, and you know where it is in the list, you can use this. So this is the three trucks that I have on this profile. But if I find this, you see this will bring me down to my trucks list, so this is the second truck on my listing, so it will be truck number two in-game. Go down again, and this is what we need. All we want from this is the accessories list. So copy that and paste it over here. And this number at the top doesn't actually have to match, but if you want to make it match, you can. And then you need to copy the actual listings. So be careful when copying, because you only want to copy the listings for the truck you're actually using. Uh, flash. Thank you. Flash decided to come and lay on my hand while I was... Uh, operating my mouse and decided to show you exactly what I was talking about. You want to be careful. To make sure you only copy for crying out loud, how many of them are there? The listings for the truck you're copying it. So look for where it says vehicle. If you're doing the last vehicle on your list, then you're, what you're going to be looking for is profit log. Because obviously it's the last vehicle on the list, so there won't be another vehicle underneath it. So you just copy those out of there and paste them into here. And make sure you keep this second closing bracket. If you don't, it'll break it. So then you just save this file. Update it in the archive. And that's it. For a base game truck, that's all you have to do. What? That was weird. Uh, let me name this something else. Old Actros Academy. Throw that in there. Oops. Wrong game. <laughs> Hold on a second. go into the correct game. I did used to have a uh, shortcut for ETS2 on my uh, on my toolbar, but I removed it because I don't play this game very often anymore. So now if we go into here, we will see 
this mod, just activate that, and then go into Driving Academy. Stop moving my thing around. Huh. Wonder why it put me directly into the truck selection thing. Anyway. We should see. There we go. There's my truck. Then just go into any scenario. And you can see that I have my Mercedes from my save game. With all the custom accessories and everything. Everything works as normal. Might actually not be a great choice of truck with how long it is. Actually did it. Oh, yep. See, this is what I was talking about. This, this truck is actually too long to complete this scenario. But you get the point, anyway. So this is something to be careful of. Um, it's probably generally advised to stick to 4x2s in ETS2. Because... These space, these parking space triggers are really small, and it's really easy to have a truck that's just simply too big. As you can see here. But, you can still pretend to complete all the challenges if you want to challenge yourself, just make sure you do them first with a truck that actually fits. Alright, so that's doing it with a base game truck. So now, if you want to use a modded truck, um, it's actually even easier. Because all you want to do is find the truck you want to use, which for me will be the DAF NTT. And if you want to use your own configuration of a modded truck, then you're still going to have to go make it in-game first, and then, you know, open your save file the same way I showed you. If you're okay with using a already made one, which is what I'm going to do in this demonstration, you can just go into the dealer file like this. So, we are just going to open this. Oh. Oh. That's telling me I can't open the other thing because I closed the archive. And then we once again want to make sure we have def academy truck. And then this is where I'm going to show you how to find the files we're overwriting. Um, if we go, if I go up here, you're going to need this SCS extractor, which once again, I will have linked in the description. This one is actually easy to find. Um, and I already have it in here, but I'll show you where to find it anyway. What you want is the base games def file. So what you're going to go to for that is... Wherever ETS2 is installed, which is in my Steam folder for me. It should be for most people. Or we're ATS. It's, it's the same process for ATS or ETS2. If I click on the right thing. It's Steam Apps, Common, whichever game you're looking for. And then you want Def. So the easy way, the easiest way to do this is to have a separate a folder where your SCS extractor is. Just copy def out of here. Copy. And paste it into here. 
Once again, I've already done this. And then once it's in here, it's actually this one, you just drag and drop it onto that and it'll extract it. I'm going to close this because it takes a minute and mine is already extracted. So then what you want to go into um, is def. Once it's done extracting, you'll have a def folder in this folder. So what you want to go into is def academy truck, the same way we've been going, and then just take any of these. Um, the other thing I should mention, I almost forgot. If you're doing this in ATS, um, these are not going to be in def because all of ATS's trucks are added as DLC trucks. So you're going to have to go to whichever truck you want to replace um, and extract its DLC file in order to find these. But it'll be the same uh, folder path once you've done that. So seeing as I'm using a DAF, I'm going to go ahead and replace a DAF. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into my archive. Open this up. And then do the same thing we did before. Copy accessories. Or copy the accessory list. And then copy the actual accessories. Like such. And now, the other thing I'm not entirely sure about, I don't know if these actually need to be numbered. Um, but since they are in base, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Interesting. Oops. Let's save that. Update it in here. And then, once again, start the correct game this time. Now, if we go back into here and turn on the DAF NTT, go into the Driving Academy and go to DAF. There you go. And I suspect that this truck is, once again, probably too long. Connecting a trailer is my go-to test scenario for testing trucks, because it's short and simple, and it tests the truck and the trailer. You know, connecting and... Everything. Truck doesn't have quite as much power as my Mercedes. Oh, this truck actually isn't too long. So there you go. It's just that simple. And I am going to iterate. If you're using a modded truck for this, you need to add it to the Academy in that truck's mod. 
Um, I tried adding a modded truck to ATS by just um, making this as a separate file and having both mods active, and it did not work. The Academy would not read all the mods independently. So if you're going to add a modded truck, you need to add the Academy file in that truck's mod. For some reason. I have no idea why it's like that. Um, it might have even just been a glitch in my system, but from what I've seen, that's what you need to do. Um, if there's anything that I explained in a way you didn't understand and you have trouble following in the video, please feel free to comment. Um, I won't guarantee that I'll answer you in a timely fashion, but I'll do my best to. Um, but beyond that, please, you know, have fun. Enjoy being able to use your modded trucks in the Academy. I definitely enjoyed it. I got up to some crazy hijinks, including trying to take an American, a full-size American truck around the European course, um, which that whole series will be getting uploaded to YouTube next week. If anyone's interested in watching it. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this how-to. I hope it helps people out. Um, and even if you don't end up doing this yourself, thank you for watching anyway. Bye-bye.